chapter 4 a uh, metodo metodical a metodical eu acho difícil pronunciar essa palavra metodical porque é um th a methodical history of language teaching esse é o capítulo esse é o capítulo que eu quero focar aqui no canal no início desta playlist sobre língua inglesa baseada neste livro aqui ó teaching by principles an interactive approach to language pedagogy Claro que tem versões muito atuais deste livro. Este que eu tenho em mãos é de 1994, mas é um livro que é bastante referenciado. É um livro muito importante nesta área de metodologias do ensino de língua inglesa. E foi uma disciplina que eu tive na Faculdade de Letras o ano passado, em 2023. Eu ainda estou na Faculdade de Letras e vou ficar um bom tempo, porque eu faço poucas disciplinas. Mas o fato é que eu tive uma disciplina chamada Metodologia do Ensino de Língua Inglesa. E um dos livros mais importantes e mais citados pela professora pelo que eu lembro, foi este aqui, do Brown, né? é, ensinando por princípios. E aí nós estudamos bastante esse capítulo 4, que aqui está um pouco diferente, porque essa versão aqui, essa edição é um pouco mais antiga. Então, como forma de praticar o inglês, eu quero fazer essa leitura, já absorvendo algo sobre isso, né? e tentando me comunicar em língua inglesa. Lembrando, eu não sei, eu não tenho domínio da língua inglesa, apesar de ser um aluno de letras, o que não tem exatamente, letras em inglês e português, não existe muito essa relação. Na verdade, qualquer língua ou, se, ou aquisição de qualquer segunda língua, você precisa treinar muito, que é o, o meu objetivo desses vídeos aqui, inclusive. Então, a partir de agora, eu vou tentar me comunicar em língua inglesa e vamos ver o que é que sai aí. O jeito é, é tentar, né? Ah, mas antes disso, eu também sempre vou procurar ler alguma coisa de um segundo livro, que também é do Brown, Douglas Brown, só que o título é o seguinte, Principles of Language Learning and Teaching. É um outro livro, tá bom? E esse aqui eu vou começar do zero, lá do capítulo 1. Um. Apenas este que eu vou zerar ele, o capítulo 4, zerar o capítulo 4. Uh, ok, on this video I'm gonna try to read something about, uh, from this book. The name of the book is Teaching by Principles and Interactive Approach to Language Pedagogy. This is an important book that I used on, in a discipline, in a subject that I studied uh, the, the last year, in 2023, in an important uh, subject called uh, methodology, of the, methodology of Teaching English. And the, the, my teacher in that time used this book a lot, very important book. And uh, I would like to practice my English or improve my English just reading, reading just the, this chapter, okay? And this chapter is the chapter number four. Let's read, to, let's try to read this, this text here. And I know here we have a lot of words that I don't know exactly mean, but there is no problem, okay? I just want to try. And uh, I'm going to try to read uh, two, the, the second book. And in this and this book is the same uh, the same author, and the name of this book is Principles of Language Learning and Teaching. Okay, this book I'm gonna try I'm gonna start to read this book uh, in the chapter one, in this book right here. Just the chapter four because I think this chapter is much important to start just let me say something uh, something more I'm, I'm a student of uh, linguistic or in Brazil letras inglês português in English or in Portuguese because here we don't we don't have uh, two, two courses two graduations we have just one one course or, or uh, letras inglês português I know that we have in other countries uh, two courses. We have a linguistics and we have a literature. In Brazil, it doesn't happen. Okay, but let's try to to read this text because it's the goal. It's the objective here in my video. Okay, I'm at chapter four. A methodical, a methodical history of language teaching. I'm gonna read. Just the first and the second paragraph here. We have so far, we have very slowly. We have so far looked closely at now an actual ESL class. Consider 12 major principles that enlighten our teaching practices and carefully 
examined one of the most powerful principles of learning and teaching. With that backdrop of classroom observation and a principled applications, you can more insightfully approach of a number of questions about this language teaching professional in general. In this chapter, we focus on methods. I don't know if this word method or in Portuguese methods or methods, methods. I think the correct pronunciation is methods, methods, I think, I don't know. In this chapter, we focus on methods as the identifying characteristics of the best century of modern language teaching efforts. What do we mean by the third method? Now we're gonna see what is the meaning of the, the word of method because there is a lot of difference, difference of meaning about this kind of word. What do we mean by the firm term method by which we tend to characterize that history? How do methods reflect various trends of disciplinary, disciplinary thought? How do the 12 principles of language learning and teaching help us to distinguish in our, in our history between passing facts and the good stuff? There is our these are some of the questions we will address in this chapter. In the next chapter, the historic overview, it's, it's about the next chapter, but the chapter that I'm going to focus here is the chapter 4, okay? A methodical history of language teaching. In the next chapter, this historic overview is culminated in a close look at the current state of the art in the language teaching. Above all, you will come to see how our profession is now more aptly characterized by a unified, comprehensive approach rather than by competing restricted methods. The general approach will be described in detail along with some of the current professional jargon associated with this. Okay, it's it was my video, okay, about the introduction, the small introduction from the chapter for a methodical history of language teaching from this book, this is important book, Teaching by Principles of Douglas Brown. The next video I'm gonna try to, to explain, explain, I don't know, how can I say expli explicar? Okay, I don't know, but the next video I'm gonna try to read something about approach, method, and technique. What is the difference of these words, okay? These words, approach, method, and technique, but the next week. If you want to see more videos that I try to speak in English because I'm learning, you can see the last video that I'm gonna stay on the, the final of this video. You can watch this too. Thank you for watching me, trying to learning, trying to uh, reading uh, something in English, and we we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.